I'm Karen Spilka, Massachusetts Senate President, and I'm here for our weekly update for the week of June 29th, 2020. First of all, I want to let you know that the Senate has been really busy getting some important bills passed. Last week, I'm proud to say we passed the third in a series of health care bills, thanks to Senator Cindy Friedman, Senate Chair of Healthcare Financing. This is an important bill, the Patients First Act. It's, it's our trifecta of bills. Uh, it makes telehealth services already being used overwhelmingly across the Commonwealth uh, permanent because so many people are using it, we cannot go backwards. It expands the scope of practice on many areas, so increasing access for healthcare, and it very importantly ends surprise billing. That's a practice everybody I'm hearing wants to end. So as I mentioned, it's a third in our series of critical healthcare bills, the first was lowering the cost of pharmaceuticals across the Commonwealth. It would uh, decrease the cost and make it more transparent. We passed that in November of 2019. The second we did in February of 2020, uh, Mental Health ABC Act, re uh, reducing barriers and increasing access for mental health, making uh, their, their parity between mental health and physical health. And as I mentioned, the third we passed last week, increasing uh, patients first access. Here's what matters, basically. The bottom line is these three bills will make health care more affordable, accessible, transparent, and they will save lives. We cannot wait to get these done. We have to get them done now. They should be law. We know what needs to change, and we have to just do it, roll up our sleeves and do it. So I'm proud of the Senate's actions here. This week, we'll be doing a supplemental budget focused on funding for COVID-19 for the state, as well as for our cities and towns. The funding will help areas, including rental assistance, child care, PPEs, the personal protection equipment that's so necessary in a time of this pandemic, community health centers, hospitals, and our vulnerable populations. It also will establish Juneteenth as an official state holiday. Overdue, but we're, we're there. Also on Thursday, we'll be doing the general government bond bill. And I think this is really important. We redirect some of the funding that was in the administration's version and the House version from public safety to create a flexible program aimed at communities, helping communities of color to address systemic inequities that exist in our Commonwealth. We also include $25 million for flexible infrastructure grants for child care centers. We also will be finalizing the elections bill to allow more robust uh, mail-in elections, early voting, and voting at the polls on our September 1st primary and our November 3rd general election. So we have a lot of work to do, but we're looking forward to having a busy week. I want to end by wishing everybody good health and stay healthy for you and your families. Have a safe July 4th holiday weekend. Enjoy, but again, remember safe distancing, wear masks, san use sanitizer, stay safe. Let's keep Massachusetts on this downward trend. Let's not go anywhere to become a Flor Florida or Texas. Thank you, everybody. Be well. Karen Spilka, Massachusetts Senate President. Take care.